Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper of QSAT April 2019. The first sub-question of question number 1, that is 1A, says that the vertex of a hyperbola is 65 mm from the focus. The eccentricity is 2 by 3, uh, 3 by 2, eccentricity is 3 by 2. Draw the hyperbola and draw normal and tangent at any point. That's the question. Let's draw a, draw a horizontal line. On the horizontal line, locate F and locate V. V is the vertex, so that VF is equal to 65. VF equal to 65. We have to locate C somewhere here, so that VF by VC is 3 by 2. VF by VC is 3 by 2. We have to locate C. For that, I divide this distance into three equal parts. 65 mm to be divided into three equal parts. What do you have to do? You have to go for the procedure. Draw any line at any angle. Take any distance in your compass and mark three times. Join the last point. Join the last point. TF. Then through these points, you have to draw lines. Parallel lines. Parallel lines to this line. So keep your set square coinciding on this line. Move it. Move it further. Why do you get? You got this distance divided into three equal parts. You have got this distance divided into three equal parts. Take two parts and mark from here to the left side. What do you get? You get the point C. Draw a vertical line through C. What is this? This is the directrix. This is the directrix. This is the focus. This is the vertex. This is the directrix. Now, draw a vertical line at V. V as center, V as radius, cut arc up and down. I call this E1 and E2. Join C, E1 and extent. Join C, E2 and extent. Then this will look straight. Join C, E2 and extent. Okay, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, mark minimum 2 more points, 4, 5. Draw vertical lines through 1, 2, 3. Very light lines. What do you get? You get this as 1 dash, this as 2 dash. This is 3 dash, this is 4 dash, and somewhere here at 5 dash. Since it is going beyond your camera, you may not be able to see it. Okay, you can see only up to 2 dash. You can mark here also, this is 1 dash, this is 2 dash, this is 3 dash, this is 4 dash, and somewhere here is 5 dash. Okay, now, take the, take the distance 1, 1 dash in your compass. Take the distance 1, 1 dash in your compass and F as center, cut 1, 1 dash itself up and down. You get P1, P1. Take the distance 2, 2 dash in your compass, F as center, cut this. This may come somewhere here. P2. When you take 3, 3 dash in your compass and cut with this as center, P3, uh, 3 dash itself is P3, 3 dash itself is P3. Take 4, 4 dash in your compass and cut P4, P4. Take 5, 5 dash in your compass and F as center, cut P, uh, 5, 5 dash itself, P5, P5. Connect these points by a smooth curve. Which points? V. 
P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Here also. This is the hyperbola. You can take a point K here to draw normal and tangent. What you have to do? Join K to F by a straight line. Join KF by a straight line. Draw a perpendicular to KF at F at K. Draw a perpendicular to KF at K. You get M. Draw a perpendicular to KF at F. You get M. Join MK and extend. That's a tangent. A perpendicular to that is the node. This MK is the tangent. A perpendicular is the node. I repeat. Locate K. Join KF. Draw a perpendicular to KF at F. Cut the directrix at M. MK is the tangent. A perpendicular to that is the normal. This is the first question. You have to mark these dimensions. 65. VF 65. Agreed? Question 1B is to draw the invariant of a regular hexagon 15 mm side. I draw a hexagon. I draw a hexagon 15 mm side. And I mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here I draw a horizontal line whose length is equal to the perimeter of the hexagon. 15 mm side into 6, 90 mm. I draw a line 90 mm long. Then, I extend this distance in this direction. Extend this in this direction. Extend this in this direction. Extend this in this direction. X, it's already there. Extend this in this direction. Take the distance this up to 1. Or with 1 as center, 1, 6 as radius, cut an arc. P1. 2 as center, this distance as radius, draw an arc. P2. This as center, this as radius. P3, this as center, this as radius. P4, this as center, this as radius. P5, this as center, this as radius. P6. That is a curve. Actually, this horizontal line is not necessary. It's not very necessary. Now, if you darken the curve, this is how it is. This is, the, this is the invariant of a hexagon. If you are asked to draw normal and tangent at any point, in the university question that is not asked. If you are asked to draw normal and tangent at any point, what do you have to do? You have to locate K. Join K to the center with which this part of the curve is drawn. This part of the curve is drawn with 3 as center. Now, simply join K to this. That is a normal. You are perpendicular to that is the tangent. If that is asked, this is how you draw it. Okay. So we finish the first question of the first module. Now there are two more problems. The question 2A of the question paper is you are asked to draw a vernier scale with R of 1 by 30, maximum length 3 meters. This vernier scale is to show meters, decimeters, and centimeters. Maximum length is 3 meters. You are asked to draw the scale and show 1.56 meters on it. Let's first of all find out the length of the scale. R of into maximum length is the length of the scale. Length of scale is equal to 1 by 30 into 3 meters. 3 meters in centimeters, 300. So you get 10 centimeters. Agreed? I draw a rectangular strip. 
I draw a rectangular strip. Ten centimeters long. I divide it into three equal parts. Zero, one, two. I divide this into ten equal parts. And write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I write the unit here as decimeters. I write the RF at the center. I write the unit as meter on the right side. I take a length corresponding to eleven decimeters and draw a uh, draw a small rectangle. Length corresponding to eleven decimeters. How much is it? This is totally ten. It is divided into three equal parts. While dividing this 10 centimeters into three equal parts, you have to go for the procedure. I have not gone for the procedure. You have to adopt the procedure. Now this distance is taken as one more division, 11 divisions. This is 10 division. Take one more division, 11 division and construct a rectangle. This has to be divided into 10 equal parts. You have to go for the procedure. I am not drawing that procedure. You have to go for the procedure of dividing the line. I am roughly dividing it. You are divided into 10 equal parts. 11 decimeters divided into 10 equal parts. Each division is 1.1 decimeter. 1.1 decimeter is 11 centimeter. Therefore, I write 0, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, and 110. What is the unit? Centimeters. This is not freehand writing, it is printing. You know that it is printing. And here also you need subdivisions. Here also you need subdivisions. I am marking the center division a little bit bigger than the others. Now, you are asked to show 1.56. There is only one division which ends with a 6, that is 66. So, 1.56 minus 0.66, you get 0 0.9. Take 66. Take 0.9, connect them by a straight line, a dimensioning line, and write 1.56 meters. 1.56 meters. You can write here at the bottom length of scale equals how much? 100 mm. That completes the first sub question of question 2, vernier scale. The next question is a diagonal scale. In the diagonal scale, RF is 1 by 40, maximum length is 4 meters. You have to show meters, decimeters, and centimeters. Therefore, length of scale equals RF into maximum length equals 1 by 40 into 400 equals 10 centimeters. Again, same length of scale. Okay. Now, construct a rectangle of 10 centimeter length, about 5 centimeter wide, I have told you. 5 centimeters is the ideal length. You can make it 4 if you want, because the length is less. You can make it 4, okay. Whatever it is. This must be 100 mm. This is any distance. Make it convenient. Any value convenient. Divide this into how many equal parts? Since it represents 4 meters, I divide into 4 equal parts. Draw vertical lines. 0, 1, 2, 3 meters. R of at the center. Divide this also into four, uh, 10 equal parts. Divide here also into 10 equal parts. Then what?
draw inclined lines connecting them connecting this this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 draw inclined lines connecting the first division 0 to the first division first to the second division second to the third third to the fourth fourth to the fifth fifth to the sixth sixth to the seventh seventh to the eighth eighth to the ninth and ninth to the tenth now draw horizontal lines through them through this or divide this into five equal parts and draw horizontal lines through them right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you are dividing this height also into ten equal parts then right here as meter decimeter divide this into 10 equal parts, 1 decimeter is divided into 10 equal parts here actually, so this is called a centimeter, the difference or the variation of C can verify here, the distance between these, these two points here is 1 decimeter, the distance between those two points here is 0, the variation from 0 to 1 decimeter is cut into 10 equal parts at 10 steps of 0.1 decimeter each. 0.1 decimeter is 1 centimeter. 0.2 decimeter is 2 centimeter. Therefore, I mark it in this direction. Now, you are asked to show some distance. What is the distance? 2.35. You are asked to show 2, decime 2 meters, 3 decimeters and 5 centimeters. That means 2.35 meters. 2, 2.3, go. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. Draw a horizontal line. Or you can write here PQ and write PQ equals 2.35 meters or draw a vertical line. Draw all, here also a vertical line. Connect them by a dimensioning line. Let's be vertical. And write 2.35 meters. So there are two methods. One is locate P and Q. Draw a line between them. Write PQ equal 2.35 or draw a vertical line there. Draw a vertical line here. Connect them by a dimensioning line and write 2.35 meters. Don't draw a line inclined like P. Draw a vertical line at P. Okay, that is where people usually go wrong. So we have completed the first module of Kisat April 2019 question paper. Okay, please share this among your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you.